if we all have our programs, can we open up to the first page? The first hymn is Guide Me, O My Redeemer. Guide Me, O My Redeemer. your fear be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare 
a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And whither I go ye now, I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus says unto him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me, no man cometh unto the Father but me. Here hangs the reading. Oh uh-huh. 
Thessalonians 4, verse 13 to 18. And so it reads, But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. Verse 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. Verse 16. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then who, then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall say always, be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can we rise up to our feet, please, as we worship the Lord. Amen. 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 Let's just begin to exalt his name. Let's just magnify his name. Let's thank God, you know, for making us be here today. Just speak his tongue and just begin to exalt his name.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'll be reading Revelation chapter 2, verse 7 to 11. Revelation chapter 2, verse 7 to 11. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Verse 8. And unto the angel of the church of Smyrna, write, These things said, the first and the last which was dead and is now alive. 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. 10. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the Spirit shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. 11. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God Almighty. We would like to invite uh, Pastor Toby and Pastor Margaret, please, to come forward. Oh, sorry, Pastor Toba and Pastor Margaret to come forward to lead us in prayer. Praise the Lord. Shall we all rise up on our feet? For all thy saints who from thy labor rest, who be by faith before the world contend, thy name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you because our gathering is not unto sorrow. Our gathering is to celebrate the life of our father, our grandfather, Pa Ogunjabi. We thank you for the grace you have given to him, the privilege to come into this world and to make a mark for God, to make a mark for Jesus. Lord, we thank you for all the good things that you have done in his life. Thank you for helping him pass through this world and leaving a mark for Jesus. We appreciate you for the wife you have given him, for the wonderful children, for the glorious grandchildren. We worship you that above all, he knew you before he saw death. Father, be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Father, we pray this evening that eternal rest you will grant unto him, and you will let light perpetual to shine upon his ways. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, the family he has left behind, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will surround them with your, with your glory in Jesus' name. That your fire will envelope them in the name of Jesus. Lord, that as he has departed, this, the toils of this earth resting on your bosom. Lord, and looking down on us, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. May he not be disappointed in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that the family he has left behind, Lord, you will be glorified in their midst continually in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that your glory will envelope this family in Jesus' name and it shall be well with them in the name of Jesus. And I pray for all of us as has come to celebrate his life. Your word told us that you should teach us to number our days that we may incline our heart unto wisdom. Lord, you say, what will it profit a man if he gains this whole world and loses his soul? So what will a man give in exchange for his life? Father, the grace for us to continually walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, to redeem our time, to know that the days that we live in are evil. I pray you will grant unto us in Jesus' name. Your word taught us that you, we, we should live our lives as if this very moment is the very end. Lord, I pray that you will help us to be rapturable in Jesus' name. And that when the trumpet will sound, our Father has heard the trumpet now. Lord, when the trumpet will sound, may we not be disappointed. May we not be found wanting. Father, may we be found worthy before your throne in the name of Jesus. We give you praise because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, amen. Daniel 12, verse 3. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. So let's pray that that is his legacy, that he was wise, that he turned many to righteousness and will shine as the stars forever and ever. So Lord, we just thank you that we can be here to celebrate the life of Chief Joshua Aladipo of Ibrahim. Oh, Lord Jesus, let it, be, let it be counted worthy for the works that he did while he was alive. And let the legacy remain that he will turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. And Lord, we just pray concerning the family, oh Lord. Lord, we use uh, Numbers chapter 6, verse 24. 25 and 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Oh Lord, we pray for this open Joby family that you would give them peace. In the midst of this sadness that you would give them peace. Peace that they've not known before, but the peace that comes from you. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And just pray for the church. Amen. Hallelujah. That God would do wonders in this church, even as he has been doing so. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 1. Who is as the wise man? And who knows the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom makes his face to shine. And the boldness of his face shall be changed. May that be so for this church, we pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Can we be on our feet as we sing the hymn, Amazing Grace? That's in chapter 9. Um, no, that's... Um. Yeah. Hey. 
At the 
age of 10 years in 1946 up until 1951 when he had to transfer to St. Paul's Anglican School in Ikolekiti for the completion of his standard six in 1953. Due to his very small stature, he was forced to temporarily halt his education for six years, between 1953 and 1959. At this time, he was actively engaged in farming with his father and also doubling as a cashier to the local lodger in the village. For his unusual brilliance, he passed the highly competitive entrance examination into Abelkuta Grammar School, which at the time was the envy of all elites. But again, his dad denied him the privilege due to his disadvantaged small stature. This time, Igbioba High School in Kolekiti was the only secondary school within the neighborhood. He was admitted in the school in 1959. Again, for his brilliances, at some point in secondary school, he was given a double promotion and still led his new class. He graduated in 1962 with a first division certificate, having spent only four years instead of the normal five to six years then. In 1963, he was employed as one of the pioneer teachers in the new modern school at Ilacha. His former principal, Mr. Areola, later employed him as a teacher as a result of his record-breaking activities in his old school, Igbioba High School. He later proceeded to Adeyemi College of Education, Ondo, in 1964 for his National Certificate of Education, graduating in 1966. From here on, he started a brilliant career as a school teacher, starting at St. John's Mary's College, where he met, where he would meet his future art rob. In pursuance of his academic progression, he gained admission into Premier, Premier University of Ibadan, majoring in geography education and graduating with academic laurels in 1971. He will later join the Federal Civil Service as a civil servant terminating in transfer to Abuja in late 1971. From here, he was posted to Igbaja in Kwara State as a vice principal. From here, he moved to Iyara Ijumu as an acting principal. Yet again, he was transferred to Big Shop Ajayi Memory College in Lokoja. From here, he switched his service from Federal Civil Service to Ondo State Civil Service, where he, was, where he got second to All St. Christian's College, Ishii Ekite. His career further took him to Ayede Grammar School as the school principal. His duty post changed once again with his subsequent transfer to Oloja Ase Secondary School, Ijeshai Shuekiti. Due to his exceptionary performance while in Ijeshai Shu as a pioneer principal, the old student of Almata insisted to the State Ministry of Education that he should return to Egbioba to continue as the school principal. Following the creation of Equity State, 
he now moved to his own local government area in Ekiti State, closer to his birthplace, where his input and contribution as a community leader, leader will be more visible. At this time, he served as a principal in two major secondary schools in Omo Ekiti, finally retiring in 2001 after 35 years of unblemished and meritorious service. Among his many achievements and laurels, he was conferred with the title of Atayeshe of Ijeshaishu in 1982 by the KBSC, the Urban Law of Ijeshaishu. In his lifetime, he was also the Baba Isale of Anglican Church in Ilashaikiti. He was very active and instrumental in seeing that his local church became a full itinerary. He equally was very involved in seeing to take off the subsequent construction of the new Anglican Church. Before his final retirement, he was the chairman of the conference of the school principals. Surviving him are uh, his very caring, beautiful, and high industrial wife, with whom he shared many sweet memories, seven children, and many grandchildren, a senior brother, and many younger brothers and sisters. Continue to rest in peaceful bosom of the Father. Thank you. Then, we're going to be on our feet again as we speak in the hymn. Oh Lord my God, when I am often wounded. Amen. Oh. Uh -huh. 
the Lord. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. I'm reading from the epistle of Paul to Apostle to the Romans and now to us. Romans chapter 14. And I'm reading verses 7 to 9. Romans chapter 14. Your dear shout hallelujah. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live thereof, therefore, or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ both died and rose, 
and revived, that he might be the, he might be Lord both of the dead and the living. May the Lord bless this reading. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, we are going to invite um, our pastor, Pastor Femi James Matthew, to give us words of exhortation. Please, round of applause, please. Can we clap for Jesus? Can we clap for Jesus? Can we stand up and welcome him? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you're happy to be here, shout a loud hallelujah. If you know you have not come to Mona Daddy, shout a better hallelujah. Oh, glory must be. To our God, Lord, to our God, for He is worthy of our praise. has done his own deed and he has gone. We cannot pray for him but rather pray for the family our daddy left behind and also pray for the church of God because whether we believe this or not whether you are ready or not whether you understand what is going on in the world or not, Christ is coming very soon. And everything that is happening to the world as we speak now is pointing to the fact that Jesus is coming very soon. 
and that will take us into the book of Deuteronomy. I will just read um, um, one verse for us. Then I will say one or two things, then we we'll pray. But that Deuteronomy that we're about to read will say it all. To those who want to reign with Christ on the last day, they will understand it better. I want you to come with me to the book of Deuteronomy, 32, 29. I want you to come with me to Deuteronomy 20, 32, 29. I don't know if somebody can read from the congregation. Just help us read that 29 alone. Deuteronomy 32, 29. Oh, that they were wise, and that they understood this. Oh, that they were wise, and they understood this. That they would consider their latter end. Then they will now consider where they are going to spend their eternity. where they are going to spend their eternity. Unfortunately, death do not need an invitation to visit anybody. Am I making sense? I remember Pastor Tai was calling me and said, ah. I said, what happened? How far is Baba? He said, Baba is still alive, too. They thought the Baba would die yesterday, but Baba is still. That's why I don't even know what is going on again. Because it is not yet time. When it was time, the death visited him, and that was the end. Oh, that day were wise. Whatever we are doing in the world today, believers. You may know how to deceive the world, but you cannot deceive the dead. You can tell the world that you are this, but the one who created you knew who you are. You can give us the thing that you can paint yourself like Mr. Good, Sister Good. But God knows you in and out. And I'm sorry to say this. The people that I fear most in the world today, they are the Christians. Instead of us increasing, we are depopulating. We are harming ourselves, stabbing ourselves behind, lying upon lying because of money, lying upon lying because of position. Have you ever considered how your hand will be? Have you ever given it a thought? Where are you going to spend your eternity? Because all these things that we are seeing today, they are raw material for destruction. Everything will soon collapse. That is why the scripture says, all that they were wise, they would have considered their hair. There is a better place we are going outside this place. At least, let us be honest with ourselves. Those of us living in the UK, living in America, we have seen a little bit of structure about life. Where we are going is more structured than this place. I tell you, more beautiful, organized than this place. When I came in here, the whole place was well organized, but there is a place we are going 
that is more organized than this place, where there is not going to be night or day. Everybody will enjoy being there. I only have one prayer point for us this evening. Hell fire will not harvest me. Wherever you have offended, call the person, settle with the person. Whoever says you've offended him or her, call the person, settle. You can never give exact date that you are going to go and meet your Savior. What people told you about somebody is what you are holding against a person as a believer and you say you are going to heaven. How are you sure that what that fellow said is correct? Think about where you are going to spend your eternity. Heaven is real and hellfire is also real. My father in the Lord said, do not cry for my son, but cry for yourself now. Pray for yourself now. Whoever has gone, has gone, there is nothing you can do. That is his own time. When you get your bus stop, you will certainly drop. But cast your mind back. Things that you have done that the devil can hold against you and talk to the Lord about it. Let's close our eyes. And let's talk to the God. Hell fire will not harvest my soul. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Daddy, hell fire will not harvest me. I am not a candidate of hellfire. Therefore, I will not end in hellfire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Then talk to the Lord. Say, my Father, help me to reign with you on the last day. Talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, help me. We all need the help of God. Speak to him. Say, Lord, help me. Let me be able to reign with you. Let not all my labor in you be wasted. Lord, help me. Let not all my commitment in your vineyard be wasted. Help me to reign with you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Sorry, I'm going to pray for your pastor. So you have to pardon me if I call your pastor forward because I want to pray for him. Do you want me to pray for him or? Okay, pastor, please come. The whole family, okay. Please, let's have the whole family. Huh? Eh? Let's, uh, to save time. Please let's rise up and let's stretch forth our hands towards them. That the hand of the Lord will be upon them. And as they will be going for the burial, the Lord will be with them. No evil will be for them. Let us arrest all the, 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 the evil on the way. All those people that we lay that kidnap, let's begin to arrest, let's begin to ask the Spirit of God to arrest them. They will not have any evil to do with this family in the name of Jesus. Let's soak their going and they are coming in the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you don't hear Yoruba, please forgive me. I want to pray for my mommy in Yoruba. Olorun to ju eda lo agbe oga aterere kari aye ijinle fe ato farati emi ni tin je emi ni ekun ko fara o oba to n gbe nu mu dia sola 
Allah to be no available for mo fi mama ti awon isu ele e lowo ikokon nu won ma je ore danu owo agbara to fi di won mu titi dojo oni to je ki eni eyin osuaju ti o je ki awon mo ma ba awon mo baba o kusuaju baba owo agbara na oluwa fi gbe won ro mo ri gbogbo eda to duro to wa ni le sinu eje odo agoto of fire ku ojiji ko ne ba kokon ninu ta ba re be tun won ti ko rajo po lo di seed leyin e da olorun ko ko si won e kakan de ni ma ha do ke to sa e de ni ma zo de ken de libro de ma sa de ke e ye ni ma ko ton de libro de ma si da ka ton de ze ene kan to ba lu go sinu okunkun to fe fi oko ibi ron sese yin ada pada fun loruko jesu mama e gbo loni e o ni mo sari omo won loju asa ori bi mo sure gege bi ko ati riju olorun oju yin o ni ru bi gbo mama to wa nbi loni e o ni fowo gbo mo si o gbo eyin ti en sa mi loruko jesu e o ni kusu aju akoko yi bi agbara olorun ti nbe ti e mo re nbe sibe mama li lo te en lo emi mi mo ko pa yin ro abu olorun ko daju lori for the bible say it the supplanter the devices of the crafty so that their hand cannot perform their enterprise lema ka don desire it frustrated the tokens of the lions and make it their divine asma medinda kakunde libro de masa niya katunde libro de maso te ye leke tonde le masa ande ketunde haraba nuku sada haye le bro ni moso ni keto sende ni masada hadabo associate yourself with you people and you shall scatter speak the word it shall not stand i decree every negative utterances released against your family they shall pack fire in the name of jesus every pronouncement of sudden death in this family shall back fire in the name of jesus and the power laying ambush for anyone in this family they will die in sudden death i suck you all in the precious blood of jesus and i build the wall of fire around you you will succeed you will succeed you will succeed you will succeed you will continue from where your daddy stop the height your daddy never reach you will go farther than that the lord will support you and it shall be well with you this ministry will blossom in the name of jesus the lord hand shall be upon this ministry and unto everybody that has come to celebrate our daddy I decree in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, you will not be harvested by the enemy. As you will leave this place, the door that has been shut against you, the God of good things that the enemy has closed against you, for the Bible says, effectual door is open unto me, but there are many adversaries. That be I decree any power that want to close this door that has just been open. Let that power be wasted in the name of Jesus. You will see the hand of the Lord. It is well with you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Jesus mighty name we pray. And let us just say hallelujah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We are going to invite our very own pastor, our daddy in the Lord, our very own pastor, Pastor Taiwo, to give us lots of thanks. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Please, you can take your seats. Thank you very much. God bless you. Um, I actually didn't want to say anything today, but um, I was kind of railroaded into talking. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say than to say from the bottom of my heart. I am eternally indebted to every one of us who could take time to come, particularly my pastor, my boss, Pastor, God bless you, sir. Uh, pastor Mommy, God bless you, man. I appreciate you. Pastor Margaret, thank you for coming. Uh, pastor Toba, thank you, God bless you. Pastor Bimbo, thank you, God bless you. And my pastor, I don't know your name, pardon me. Sorry? Pastor Card. Scar. So I'm from the village, you just pardon me. Oh, Scar. All right, Pastor Scar. Scar. God bless you. I, I believe that uh, if I didn't pronounce it well, please pardon me. And to all my extended family members, um, Tino, thank you for coming. My cousin, thank you for coming. Uh, God bless you. Uh, and my younger brother, too, thank you for coming. Uh, I won't talk. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And to everyone, I am very, very, very grateful. You have always shown to me that um, my work here is not one that is unrewarded. Um, each time we have things doing, you have always stood with us as a family. You see that uh, uh, people who are close to me know that I don't have friends. I don't have any. I don't, apart from my boss who has been with me over the years, uh, I'm just a lone ranger, <laughs> so to say. But you have been my family, and at every turn, uh, you have shown yourself very reliable, dependable, and I pray that the rewarder will reward your faithfulness also in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My dad um, lived well. He was a good man. He was a very, very... And I'm not saying this because he's no longer here. When you see... Uh, when you think about practical meekness, my father epitomizes what meekness and humility is all about. I, I've never seen my dad raise his voice. My grandfather is a very angry man. And uh, at some point, I think I was catching that trait from him. And I started praying that God would take that spirit away from me. And I thank God that God has helped me. <laughs> And you know that God has helped me. But my dad is a, is, a, is a complete contradiction to his own dad. I've never one day seen... In fact, it's very out of character for my dad to raise his voice to talk to anyone. Um, just like my pastor said, uh, it's too late to pray for the dead. It is appointed unto man to die once. And after death, it's judgment. No matter what prayer point we pray for him now, he's done his own beat. We can only be very, very convicted or convinced that a crown of righteousness has been laid for him. And to every one of us, there is a lesson that I've learned each time death come knocking. He, like Pastor said, he never sent invite to anyone, whether papa or prince or royal or slave or servant. The same dead that can enter the palace can also enter a kitchen. And the point is, or the point I make is, this is the time to start reflecting on our individual journeys with God. A day will come that that invitation will be dispatched. No matter how much you bind the spirit of death, you are still taken from life now. But the time will come that life will take from you even your last breath. Amen? But the question you want to ask yourself, before life comes to take away, God, stand me right. So that with an assured boldness and conviction, when death comes, you can confidently stand before it. I didn't say him because to me it's some... Um, minimalistic spirit 
you can stand before it and say, yes, I have fought a good fight. I have run my race. And a good crown of righteousness is laid up in the bosom of the Father. My prayer for every one of us is that none of us will miss that glorious dawn in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, God bless you. I've not seen you in ages. Sister Joy, my husband, God bless you. Thank you for coming. And to everyone who came that I've not seen in a while, thank you. May God honor you. And may my father reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. Is that a family member? Can you pull down the mask? Thank you. All right. Okay, Sister Courage. Thank you. God bless you. Welcome. God bless you. So, um, moderator, do I have any other thing to say? Okay, maybe somebody will just um, announce or tell us what about what the church is about, what our ministry believe in. Who will do that? Sister Inga, can you come up? Thank you. So that we know what the name of our ministry is and what we believe in. Thank you. I know I'm putting you on the spot. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for that wonderful sermon, sir. Thank you, sir. And thank you, Daddy, for always um, being a dad. And we know by extension we're all a family. Amen. Thank you for coming once again. This is Tender Grace Christian Center, where God never goes on vacation. Amen. Hallelujah. So if there is anybody living around or you're from, you know, wherever you are from, we're always happy to have you once again. Amen. It's a place where you can enjoy God. God is real here. And every time God is here. Amen. So our services on Sunday, we start 10 o'clock. You're welcome to join us for service if you're still around and you, you, have a, you don't have a church that you, can, you do attend. Please make it a date with the Lord here. Yeah? On Tuesday, on Monday, Solution Nights online at the moment because of, you know, um, COVID precautions. So hopefully we'll be open. On Wednesday, we have fantastic sessions with the Holy Spirit where we are well fed. Amen. Cooked by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And delivered by our Father in the Lord. Amen. <laughs> and on Thursday, we're always here again from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock, where we call covenant with the Holy Spirit, with God here. Amen. In the house, again, you're welcome. Everyone is welcome. Amen. So you can always contact us online, on Facebook, and on other social medias. We're always happy to have you. Amen. God bless us all in Jesus. <laughs> And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. And great grace was upon them all.
can we please rise up on our feet as we're about to sing the hymn? It is well. Jesus, I believe. 
Everything you have done in our lives so far. You are the God of the dead. You are the God of life. Thank you for everything that you have done so far. Thank you that we are still breathing the breath of life. Thank you for sustaining us that far. Thank you for where we are. Thank you for where you are taking us to. We appreciate you, O Lord. Father, we commit our lives unto you. Because our rapture can come anytime. We ask, O Lord, that when our rapture comes, O Lord, we shall not be found wanting in the name of Jesus. The grace, O Lord, to live this life. Father, grant unto each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. And as we have cried unto you, O Lord, El shall not reap us in the name of Jesus. We shall not be a product of hell in the name of Jesus. We and our children, we shall all make it to heaven in the name of Jesus. We cannot do it. That is why you said it is impossible with man. But with you it is possible. Lord Jesus, every of our weaknesses, we lift them unto you. Come and lift us up in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Let your name be exalted. As we go home, Almighty God, let us meet goodness and mercies in our homes in Jesus' name. We shall not bury anyone. We shall not be buried in the name of Jesus. And the name of Jesus shall be exalted in our life. Thank you, Almighty Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, it is well with me. Amen. Amen. As we take the last hymn, we are going to take our offerings. Um, Ushers, please, can you come, please come forward and um, let's take the offering. Quiet, tender voices, over to you. In Christ alone, my hope is found. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my soul. This cornerstone, this solid ground, found through the fastest round. And stop what heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are sealed, when striving sees my comforter, my warning all here in the love of. So 
of God in helpless faith. These gifts of love and righteousness, sung by the ones who came to save. Still on the cross, as Jesus died, the rod of God was satisfied for every sin on him was laid. Here in the pride of Christ, I live. Let's the voices. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. God has taken control of everything. We have finally come to the end. Hallelujah. He is a good God. We're going to share the grace. We have menu. Please don't go without having a bag. We're going to share the grace. Before we share the grace, we are going to say our attestation. Shall we all rise up on our feet? God bless you. Thank you all for coming. Amen. We say our attestation and then we share the grace. And that is it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our attestation, let's go. I attest that as a bona fide heir of the inheritance of my father, I am consolidated for joy unlimited. Satan, I hold you nothing. Christ has paid it all. Therefore, my joy is guaranteed and my consolidation is validated. This I declare in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we all share the grace together in fellowship? The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, 
God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell forever and ever. Amen. Seven glorious, thunderous, hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you all. Thank you. We love you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We give God all the glory. Please, I want to indulge your time, please. One minute or so. We're going to be taking photograph, but it will be organized, please. I want to ask 